Hey, uh, this is Kenny C. from uh, Triple Threat Western Radio. How you doing? Hey, what's up, brother? I'm doing real good. Thank you for joining me on the show. Oh, okay. Well, it's my pleasure, man. All right, so um, let's go ahead and get started. How did your wrestling uh, career begin? Well, I went to a little town. It's in uh, Jefferson County, a uh, little town called New Market, Tennessee. And, you know, I was just went to watch a wrestling a wrestling event and you know i was thinking to myself um you know hey you know this you know seeing you know like you know it'd be really interested and the guy lived right across from the fire hall that he's having the event there and you know he told me if i wanted to learn how to wrestle be at his house at 12 o'clock so of course the next day i go and and uh we go to jefferson city and, and we pick up you know this little hawaiian dude you know, and I thought, you know, he looks familiar. And then that's, you know, when I got to meet the uh, devious uh, Mr. Fuji. I don't know if you um, know anything about, you know, the WWE superstar way back. But uh, I got to meet Mr. Fuji, and I went to his uh, training academy and, and learned how to wrestle. And, and I've been wrestling for about 13 years now. Oh, I'm definitely familiar with Mr. Fuji uh, as far as him being the manager of uh, Yokozuna. Uh, may, God, oh, yeah. may he rest in That's peace. Correct. May he rest in peace. Uh, definitely familiar with Fuji and, and Yoko. Um, and do, do you remember the first wrestling match you have ever had? Uh, the very first wrestling match I ever had... Uh, was probably um, against uh, Chick White. Um, I got to wrestle him in Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, Fuji, you know, he put on a show. Is that a is is that a little local bar down there? And uh, uh, he got you know, he had a bunch of guys come in and. I got to wrestle him, and that, that is my that is my first match. Two part question: um, How did you feel about the match, and were you nervous leading up to the match? Well, I, I was nervous because you know this is my first time you know working you know you know you know wrestling um, chick white. You know, I didn't really know a whole lot about him. Uh, he asked the, uh, you know, promoter, you know, hey, you know, uh, is he, you know, green? You know, that's, that's a guy that gets in, in the wrestling business. That, you know, when he first gets into the, you know, in the wrestling business, the guy's just, you know, uh, learning how to wrestle. You know, he can't really wrestle that good. And, you know, and Fuji said, no, you know, he can, he can wrestle. So, uh, you know, I, I wasn't, you know, I was nervous because, like I said, this is, you know, my very first match. And, you know, the match uh, went, you know, excellent. And, you know, unfortunately, uh, Chick Watt was the better man that night, you know, and he beat me. And back to uh, Mr. Fuji for a bit. Um, what was the, what was the huge, what was the most, What's the most you learned from um, from Mr. Fuji? Uh, what was like the, the 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 most important thing he ever said to you? Like advice? What was the what was the advice he gave you as far as you go along with your career? Uh, the best uh, the best advice that you know Fuji could give to his students was always have respect for the man that you're in the ring with. You know, you, um, you know, there's a lot of guys in this business, you know, they don't, they, you know, they don't want to show respect. You know, they, they come in, they want to be arrogant, they want to be cocky, you know, and they think, oh, okay, you know, uh, you know, I can wrestle, blah, 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 you know, then they go, they go up to the veterans that's been in this business a long time, and they, they want to be very, very disrespectful. So, the, you know, the main thing, you know, he taught us is you always show respect. Whether whether you you hate the guy in you know outside of the ring 
you still show that man respect when you're in that ring. I mean, you know, if you, I mean, if you got if you got hard feelings against him, you know, you know that, that's cool. I mean, you know, but you know, you don't get in there and you know try to be disrespectful, especially to a guy that you know has been in it 13, 14, 15, 16 years. Or whatever the case may be, because you know he's been he's been a lot of other places, and, and you know and the guy has seen a lot more, and, he, and, and you know he's he's been around the world. And then you go in there and being disrespectful, that's just you know that's just a good way to get get killed in there. Because I mean, you go in there and being disrespectful, others beat you to death. Throughout your wrestling career, have you ever had to deal with? Have you ever had to wrestle with people? that you may not like necessarily outside the wing, but you still go with the match out there and, and, and you know, fans are satisfied. Or have you ever had to work with people in the wing that you didn't like outside the wing? No. Uh, like I said, you know, I, I've, been in, I've been in this business for, you know, like I said, 13 years. And, and I, you know... Uh, I'm a, you know, I'm pretty much an easy guy going, you know. Um, I've been in a lot of locker rooms. I've got to wrestle a lot of guys, and, you know, I've never made any. I mean, that's just, you know, knock on wood. Um, you know, I mean, it just, you know, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm an easy going guy, man. Um, I, you know, I go into a show, and a booker will call me, a promoter will call me and say, hey, you know, I need, you know, you know, can you wrestle for me, you know, in Georgia or wherever? And I'll say, sure, you know. And when I get to that, when I get to that arena, I go up to that, you know, booker, and he's the boss. And I say, what you want me to do, brother? And uh, however, you know, whatever he's want me to do, man, you know, I've got a job to do out there, and I go out there and do it. And like I said, I've, you know, like I said, you know, I've made a lot of friends. I've never made any. For those of you just tuning in, you are listening to Triple Threat Wrestling Radio right here on itmiradio.com. And I'm joined with my last guest of the evening, Keith Michaels. Um, do you have any upcoming matches and shows you'd like to promote? Well, uh, there is a show in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. It's the uh, third annual uh, Toys for Tots. A big, big show uh, out there in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. It's a really good benefit show to to bring, uh, you know, an unfortunate, you know, kid a smile on their face. All it costs you is, you know, a rat toy or $5, either one. And, you know, just come out, you know, and, and really support, you know, the benefit and everything because it, it's going for a really, really good cause. And you know this, you know this Christmas, you know they they can be uh, a less fortunate child out there that can have a toy or you know something for Christmas. So you know you know spread the word, let let people know it's it's in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Uh, me personally, I'll be there. Uh, got a bunch of really really good talent wrestlers coming in, um, and then the 16th of November. Um, the KFW is going to have a show in Newport, Tennessee. Uh, you got a, a lot of good names on the card: Shane Williams, Chase Stevens, um, myself. Um, so a, a really another, you know, a really good show again. So uh, spread the word, let people know. Hey, you know, it's out there. If they want to, if they want to see real professional wrestling, you know, tell them, you know, come out and, and really enjoy the. Uh, show who do you consider as um, influences in your wrestling career okay say that again please uh, who do you consider as influences in your wrestling career okay my influence I would have to say um, if, if I've learned anything out of, you know, like I said, out of all the years I've wrestled, I would have to say um, probably would be, um, my, I would have to say Shane Williams. Uh, he's, he 
him and Chase Stevens have, you know, they taught me a lot about this business. And, uh, you know, and I've, I've had the privilege to, uh, you know, to wrestle both of them. I've, I've been in the ring with King Shane Williams, and I have been in the ring with TNA superstar Chase Stevens more than one, on, you know, on a more than one occasion. And, you know, they both have been really, really helpful, uh, helping me with my career. And, 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 and they're both excellent, excellent wrestlers you know they're they're very very talented guys uh they've got a show coming up uh saturday at the national fairground it's the uh crossfire it's in the uh, hd like 3d so that's another big good show down there and, and they got a lot of guys on that show how would you best describe your wrestling style you you consider yourself a, a technician submission style high flyer how would you best describe your wrestling style? I would say I do a little bit of both. Uh, I, you know, I do the you know the high flying stuff, or um, I do the uh, technical you know moves. Uh, I'm not really you know I'm not a, I'm not a real big guy. You know, I'm only I'm only six two and I only weigh 180 pounds. So you know I, I'm not a a real big guy, so, you know, I, I'm not going to go out there and try to brawl with, you know, somebody that's, you know, 6'2", 200-something pounds. I'm not going to go out there and brawl with him. I mean, it just, it just ain't going to happen. I mean, he, he's going to beat me to death. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, like I said, it just, I'd rather, you know, just try to do technical stuff or try to, you know, to, you know do stuff off the top rope and, and stuff like that, you know, and, because where I'm so, you know, I'm so little and stuff and everything, I can try to move around, especially some of the bigger guys that I have to get in the ring with. Who are some people out there, um, who are some wrestlers that you haven't had a chance to work with but would like to work with someday? Uh, I would like to work with... Uh, uh, I would have to say some of the wrestlers I would like to work with, uh, you know, Shawn Michaels or uh, Triple H. Um, I see. Just I mean, I mean, yeah, I can I can go on for you know hours and hours about you know guys that I would like to to meet or have a privilege to to be on a show with them um, back in May. Was it May or April when they did the fairground over here? Oh yeah, something like that. Yeah, April is back in April of this year. I've got to. Uh, I had the privilege to tag uh, KFW. Brought Eugene in, Nick Dinsmore, and uh, I got to tag with him. And me and him got to be partners that night. And we took on Vicious and Delicious and. And it's a really good match. Yeah, I noticed that uh, that that you and a picture of you and Eugene is like the cover photo of your uh, on your Facebook page. Uh, I oh yes. Yeah, and I had a chance to meet with Eugene at an OVW show about a couple of weeks ago. He's a very cool dude, um, very talented in the ring as well. Um, got a lot of respect for him and for what he's oh, done. Oh, I do. Um, I, I'm the same way. He's he's a very very intelligent man. I mean, he's. I mean, he he. I mean, he he took a, you know he taught a seminar um, earlier when when they brought him in up at the fairgrounds here in the you know Pigeon Forge and everything and, and a lot of the, you know a lot of the guys even myself. Uh, was in the seminar because, like I said, you you can be in this business for 13 years, or you can be in this business for 20 years. You can always learn something new, and if you can if you can do that, you know why not? Because you know if you learn something new, you can better yourself. And if you if you're wanting to try to make it to the WWE, or if you want to try to do the gut check for TNA. Or if you want to go to OVW or whatever, all you got to do, you know, just reach for the stars, brother, and it's just endless 
possibility. You just got to really, really dig deep and, and just really, really work hard for it. Is that something that you see yourself doing or consider yourself doing, going to a WWE or going for gut check and TNA? Uh, yes. Uh, I mean, eventually, that is my dream. I would love to, um, you know, go to a TNA gut check, you know, or or even go to OBW or even go to the WWE and, you know, and just be in front of millions and millions of people, you know, just to walk out, you know, in, in Madison Square Garden and just, you know, just look around. And, I mean, you'll just see, you know, thousands on top of thousands of people in there. And, I mean, you just, um, it just, oh, man, that, that, that'll be really, really cool. I mean, that's that's my dream, and, and I'm just going to keep pushing myself until I get there. And and maybe, you know, hopefully one day that I'll, you know, I'll reach, I'll reach my dream and stuff, and, and it'll be really, really cool to do. Well, Keith, I'm going to go ahead and let you go, man. Getting close to midnight here, and, and uh, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, best of success goes out to you, and uh, again, thank you for your time, and uh, best of success goes out to you. Okay, thank you, and on uh, one more thing real quick before we go. Um, today in the wrestling world, um, I don't know if you're, are you familiar with the Armstrongs? Yes, sir. I, I mentioned that a little bit earlier. Uh, Brad Armstrong okay. passed away. Yes. Yeah, Brad Armstrong passed away at the age of 51. He's, he's a very, very talented uh, wrestler, and he'll be truly missed by a lot of people. And, you know, my heart and my prayers go out to him and, and Bob, you know, Bob and, 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 and Brian and all of them because, you know, Brad was a very, very talented wrestler. So if anybody out there that, you know, you know loved, you know, Brad as much as, you know, we did, you know, he would be, you know, he's going to be truly, truly missed. When you think of established Western families, obviously you think of the Hearts, the Guerreros, the Von Erics, the Fonks, the Armstrongs definitely deserve to be in that discussion as well. Uh, Brad uh, yeah. will most definitely be missed. May thoughts yes. and prayers yes. go out to the family. Yes, very true. Because he was a very, very talented wrestler, a really nice guy. Um, you know, I've got to meet him one time, and you know, he's just the nicest guy that you could ever meet. And he'll, like I said, he'll be truly missed. And um, at the show that I was at tonight in uh, Alcoa, Tennessee, you know, we rang the bell ten times in memory of him. Much respect to Brad. Uh, thank you so much, Keith, and uh, you have a good night, sir. All right, you too. All right, bye-bye. Goodbye. That was Keith Michaels, my last guest of the evening as we are winding down to the end.